Good morning. It's Wednesday. I've just been to pick up some compost. And when I've got here, it snowed. Wonderful. So, so I was going to lay a couple of raised beds, but that's not that idea on here. So I thought, well, I'll just put the posts in on the polyton, but the ground is as hard as nails. It's thawing out slowly. Remember that was sloppy the other day. So I've got a few errands to do. Get some, see if I can source some timber. I don't want to go to like the big shops. I'd rather find some local sawmills that do it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to get up to this morning. And hopefully this will thaw it out so I can dig a couple of holes for the door frame and the back frame. And then get a little bit more done. But yeah. Snow on me, day off. Balls. Well, the ground's still frozen solid. So. I bought this timber, it was going to be 50 quid to get the treated timber from, like more than 50 quid, 60 quid from b and Q. I've got all this for just over 20 quid. So I'm going to creosote it, let it dry out, and then hopefully by then I, I can dig a hole. Once I figure out where I put my brush. Anyone seen a brush? <laughs> Did I ever put that? Pause. I took a lot longer than it should have. It fell on the floor. Yeah, the camera. Gonna see if this treatment just treat them really as best as I can to keep the moisture off because these are gonna be buried into the ground. I might put some plastic around them just for some extra protection. I don't know. It's not ideal, but I'm not spending 60 pound on pulpits of wood. Any chance? It's not for just around here. I'm going to pay what I have, and if it rots, I'll buy some more. Yeah. You don't need to watch me paint the entire thing, so. I'll be back shortly. Right, I'm going to try and get these holes dug out for the door post. Use my plumb line, which I've never used before. So it can't be that hard. Let the campus through weather. Finally. See? 
gets is as nervous as it gets, and this will happen to probably nobody else just more. But, you know. Right. Just in case people are wondering what I'm doing. Measure the centre of the door. Yeah, then 13 inches, so I've got a 26 inch wide door so I can get the wheel barrel through. And then just put a plumb line down. Dig around it. Put my post in. And uh, yeah, that's it, do that on both sides. Bob's your uncle Fanny's ranty and off we'll go. So I'll get this dug out and I'll be back. Hello, well, it's now Saturday. I did come up Wednesday but I got called away uh, to help me step down and put his toilet in because he needs it in in emergencies. So yeah, that's done. So I'm back up. I went and left me drill in the car and the girlfriend stayed in the car miles and miles away so I've got to dump when I get that back this afternoon. So the jobs for the day is I'll have to get back. Ah, there we are. This is the pipe that's on the polytunnel. Now I, I can't buy P clips to, to do this. What I'm going to do is I've got lots of this bracket wiring. I'm just going to tap this round and make my own P clips. A bit of a firmer grip than that, this is just a bit of scrap. So I'm going to make some P clips and I've got, sorry about that, someone put me out a lot that's coming on. So I've got more of this flexible wire as you can see. So that's what I'm going to put around the piping. Just wraps around, screwed on the inside of the polytunnel. And that'll get rid of any screw holes on the outside of the tunnel. Which is what I don't want. I don't want anything tearing the plastic because it's quite expensive. Um, pallet bust as I was just showing you. I'm going to pull up some pallets, pull some pallets apart, then get that wood dried because they've been outside for about a year. So they need to go in the, the other shed and dry out. Um, I made these multi things to go around the posts so they slide up and down. So when I want to put a drum finish, I just push the board that the polytunnel is attached to down. And I'll screw them in and I've got a couple of L brackets. I've got some more heavy duty L brackets up here to uh, give a more secure fit and that should be the, the tunnel done. So unfortunately now that I forgot my drill today I can't do anything apart from pull pallets apart, have a cup of tea. I forgot to wash my cup last time I was here so it's like rotten. Don't know if the ever remembers but this is the one I've won in the cup, in the cup in the competition. Still, still going strong. Labels. Nice little tea. Got any old coffee tins? Your labels. Um, I was looking at the 100 hour candles, but I think in a polytunnel, 100 hour candles is going to be like a drop in the ocean, so I don't think that's going to be in use at all. So I might just get a couple of paraffin here. But I need to start using up. I've got this times six or six times manure. And uh, thought me, thought me kettle of wind, fish, blood fish and bone. So I don't know whether to sprinkle some of that out of the bed. Maybe it's not the day. I'll see what I get, what I get told. Um, there's been a few people um, on YouTube doing shoutouts. Um, I've got barely any subscribers. Up, and mine's more just for. My own diary for my sister to watch because she lives in London, so she watches the, the stuff that I do because she, she doesn't get up here much. Um, and the few people that watch it is great. It's quite um, quite interesting to, to know that people are watching me just rambling on and pottering about. Um, 
but there's quite a few that I really enjoy watching. I like Colleen Gordon. She's just having the mood. So I like I like watching folk that's around here. I like Jeff on the plot, Dave's allotment, um, Dean Hood. Who else was the Kettle doesn't sound like a clever, does it? There's a, there's a few others, sorry if I haven't mentioned you. I mean, I, I watch the big ones like Money Boots and Phones Allotment. They don't really need shout outs, they've got enough fan base themselves. But um, if anyone hasn't seen, I mean, Jeff on the plot, I've never seen an allotment like it. He's got more like a coordinate centre. <laughs> it's massive. Um, Kimmy's allotment. There's. I'm trying to think of the proper plates. So there's, there's a few that I'm starting to to get together. I mean, Fifty Shades of Green, that guy, he's got friends that help him in the garden. If you didn't know who Fifty Shades of Green or you've never lived really, because everybody knows who he is. He's a lovely fella, Simon. He does his videos. He can't get out the house much uh, for personal reasons, but hopefully one day he should overcome them and uh, get himself an allotment. You're one of the best loving tears on the YouTube, won't you say? I hope you do. I hope that's going to be fair. But, enough of my rambling while I wait for this kettle of oil. Then i get the vice open and get some work done. So I might just record it and fast forward it. I don't know, I'll see how I feel. Yes, from the messy haircut, I had my hair sharpened today. It's the other day, whenever it was, Wednesday. So, I'm one of the things to see. I'm not going to be doing too much talking because I just want to get on. So I'll be pottering about and you can watch it if you like. If not, fast forward. <laughs> clip for four the balls here. Two, three. Four. So, good call there. Right. Next.
That was an easy one. The rest are gonna be weak. Well, I've decided I'm gonna start on the second raised bed area. So I'm just gonna chip away and try and remove some of the pavement slabs that's in the way. Let's just keep this line. Still waiting for the good wife to come back, so when the mice gets away, the mice got more work to do. I might even clear the channel, because this is on a slope and water, the others down here. So it's all starting to gather. So I'm tempted to even cut the channel right across. So the water drains away. And then just bog down here. Busy. Right. So that leaves this area for a bed. Well, as Sean would say, let the land talk to you. Now, I was, was going to put a bed there, but I think I might put it in line with the truth to the edge of that. That'll make a nice big square. And that can make two beds. So one thin one up there. Or one big bed. I don't know. What do you think? Well, by the time you think I'll have done it. So I'm gonna chip them in half and come back. Broken because it makes a deep ass thud. It's not bouncing, it's just a thump. And for anyone that's wondering how I'm doing, what I'm using is a bolster chisel and a heavy hammer. You just knock a line all the way along there, the bit you want to cut, and just come back on it. And by the time you get halfway, 
it'll have popped exactly down your lane, as you can see. Make names of the ten anyway. Okay. Yeah, the clunk. So it's cracked. The cracks underneath. The jobs are done. As you can see, that is a nice straight edge, straight up to the tree, and all that. That's a little bit off centre, but that doesn't worry us too much. I might chip it away and fill up with flowers. But yeah, that's that. I'm going to have a cup of tea now. Whew. Well, to the end of a long. So I've got that cleared, ready for a bed. I went up to see if there's any more when you won the guy wasn't there, which was a little disappointing, but I'll get some more. Oops, tripped over. Right, I've managed to get the door post in. Bit of an absolute nightmare to do, but they're in. One second, lad. Oh yeah, got the doors. Made them wide enough to get a wheelbarrow in. It's absolutely totally out of line, but hopefully the polythene will... Polythene? <laughs> that one looks a bit better. But hopefully yeah, the polythene will sort all that out. So, it's got a fire going. So I should have four raised beds down the bottom. I don't know whether to have two sideways or two lengthways. I'm still undecided. But yeah, that's it from the plot today. Back tomorrow. Bye bye for now.